Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Angular. So today we are going to learn export and import CSV with the help of the Angular. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So here I'm going to, I need to import the CSV. So I need to uh, make a CSV sheet first. So I'm going to create that one with the name ID name email address and age okay so i'm going to create that one so id one two so you can directly drag this one Control z select this one and then drag so it will auto incremented name test one just drag it okay email email one at the rate email one at the rate gmail.com okay so i'm going to extract this one okay so let me add the address also so so too many you whatever you can add address 2012 22 24 6 12 or um, okay so this csv sheet is ready now try to export it export as a csv this is exported now we are going to import it over here so i'm going to choose the file so here we have in the recent now you can see that all the file of the csv is extracted over here with the address age email and the name right you can see that this is basically import Whatever I have imported, I can see that the data is over here, right? If I'm going to export it, currently I have exported in the Excel sheet, then you can export it as a CSV also. Then export, you can see that. This is in the Excel part, right? So there is a uh, mismatch of the name, but uh, the rest of the things are coming up, right? So, so that will we will figure out, right? So this is how we are able to import and export. Let's go to the code level okay so what we have written out this is a csv file so this is html file right so where we have a two function that is called csv export and the csv import right so this this input we have to for the uploading of the file we have uh, except only the csv files and the excel sheet okay you can see that ms excel right these two type of files we are adding as a validator in the input field right so this is very important Okay, after that we have a two functions CSV export and the CSV import. Okay, you can see that CSV import. So let's go to the app component. Yes, where we have make these two functionalities. One more thing, which package I'm using? XLS. So I'm going to give you the overview of that package. So here we go with this one. This is very popular package. Okay, Sheet.js. Basically, it's Sheet.js. Okay, you can see that. And it has how many downloads? Maximum number of downloads. And here you can see that all the functionality of read, write from XLS. Okay. And uh, here we have the more functionalities over here. Let me go down and check this one. So here we have the CSV import. What we have done? we have get the files okay and check the length of the files then we have a reader new file reader then on load we have read the target file and then sheet dot names so wb this is a workbook okay and the sheet dot length then we are converting the sheet dot to dot json i will explain what exactly it is so this is called sheet dot json okay stream streaming write so if you want to write that into the csv html or json so this is the way that you can write it over here okay so you can see that xls utils sheet dot json work worksheet and then options so here we have a worksheets wp dot sheets then we have an option that is sheet zero we have to take it out and reader as a buffer file right you can see same we have the export one so you will get all these things in the current sheet as this this excel sheet also here you can see that adds an array to the js file of an existing worksheet then we have sheet.add.json file 
you can see that adds an array of the js objects to an existing worksheet okay so here we have initializing the new workbook where we have json to sheet with empty array then we have adding all the headings then we are adding all the users then we are appending the sheets and then we are write the file and convert into the excel so you can see that all the functionalities of here you can see that to export write and write file accepts the options argument okay so here you can see that right uh, so if i want to change the format of that one currently it's xls so i'm going to convert into the csv so you can also do the same part also whether you want to convert into xls you was whether you want to convert in the csv you can do that part right so here you can see that you can use the most popular package that is called the xls xlsx so any doubt any query in that let me know in the comment section here i have missed because uh, the id part is not there so i need to add the id over here so this is the id right and id name email age address and age and age if i go and just export this one export now you can see that because the files are not there currently it's reload right because i have updated the files so i can again recent test now export now you can see that id name email address and the age all are correct format right so any doubt any query in that let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day